congratulations, your debut on the uh, ACL stage. How'd it feel out there? <laughs> it was pretty great. Yeah, th <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I've been daydreaming about that one for a while. A long way from your heart, your fourth album. How would you, you know, describe the the progress, the evolution of the band and your music in the course of those four albums up to the present day? Uh, we're just, uh, uh, we're we're pretty fortunate uh, with with the people that we get to play with and and how how much we've all grown together and you know the the newest guy in the band's what three or four years mm -hmm. well Hank's I guess two but uh, uh, you know RC and I've been playing together for what twelve years I mean you're pretty pretty relatively young fellas and uh, Hank's brought a lot to the band um, oh certainly. Uh, Musically, just sonically, every every aspect of it, just such a great musician and singer. The uh, and I don't, as far as the evolution, I don't know that our sounds ever changed too much. As much, I always like to think we're just getting better at doing <laughs> what we've always been trying to do. Yeah, sure. How do you treat the songs on this record, and and do you take a different approach than the songs you'd written in? In the past, I mean, obviously, it's an art form, and it changes as as an artist grows and and gets better at it. Yeah, I've got a, you know, I've been lucky. You know, he's a hero of mine. Uh, I mean, he taught me a whole heck of a lot about songwriting, and then you look at guys like Todd Snyder, and then you know, just a, they're, they're just tons of great examples as far as uh, what you can get done uh, as a songwriter, and, and so we we kind of took it more theatrical approach we used you know try to use like the music as a as a literary device sometimes it sounds like i'm trying to be cool um but uh and i'm not but uh um just trying to uh to to find ways uh to to hurry your characters along and give them a little bit of a landscape so there are characters in your songs and some of these characters uh kind of continue through different albums mm-hmm Recurring in, in different shape and form, perhaps, but but basically the same characters, right? Yeah, yeah, they are. They they, they certainly are, um, in in the way that you know, sort of the characters in the Nick Adams stories or something like that. And I'm tooting my own horn pretty hard uh, with any of that stuff. But uh, I don't know. Our season one kind of talked me into it. It was yeah, it was an idea we kicked around about like you know different writers we liked who did stuff like that, like uh, uh, William Faulkner. Or, uh, Stephen King, you know, you sure. know they, they create their own little universe, and you have these characters and towns and scenes, and just you don't have to throw them away just because the story's over. I mean, you can tell another story, and then Ev pulled it off. Like he he started doing it with some songs, and and I I'm, I, don't know, I think it's a really neat deal. It's to, really to, it's really effective to get to tell to get to see a character more than once. Yeah, and and to get to tell uh, you they get to develop a bit and. Uh, and then once once you get to that point, then maybe they develop more or they do different things, you know. So it's a I've been lucky to get to to tool around with that. But you think about, um, you know, the redheaded stranger or any of that. Like what essentially what I'm after is like a, a not having to write the concept record, just to to mess with these stories throughout you know my career, so these guys can you know surface and and not surface and sometimes. A lot of our songs are about ourselves and, you know, or, or current events. In some interview that I read, Evan, you, somebody, they asked you, the writer, uh, what's a good condition or time to write a song? And when, when do you do your best work? And I think you said, being in a state of anxiety is a good time or can be, can be to yeah. write a song. What do you mean by that? Um, well, you know, it's just sort of working through Working through anxiety is the same thing as working through sort of depression or anything else. It's just a situation where you can uh, you can use art uh, in order to, or use you know a job of any kind. You might be just chopping wood, same thing. Um, but yeah, you might be able to work through um, you know a tough spot with you know some sort of a, a positive outcome. How does collaboration work for for you when it comes to songwriting, but also just on stage in general or producing a record? Uh, me and, well, I mean, RC, RC and I have, have written, uh, 
what, like five, six songs together, maybe more yeah, than between me and you and Johnny Fulbright, too. who we got to have at the show tonight, which I was kind of, I was kind of pumped up. Yeah, and Johnny Burke's got a, got, a, wrote, got his hands wrote a mess with him. in several of them. Um, you know, I just what I would do if I mean if we're talking about how I approach a collaboration, uh, it's just like whoever's got the most fleshed out idea, just try to sort of help uh, sort of. Uh, be supplementary to their work, and then if I, it's my start, then you know I get kind of take the lead on it. Yeah, I kind of get hard headed about it, but yeah, um, but mostly just I do a lot of finishing people's work and just try to sound as best I can like them. That's what I do with him and and uh, Fulbright, and it's not it's it's kind of nice. It takes a lot of pressure off of you, you know. There's a lot in common between Oklahoma and Texas, especially when it comes to music you know and there are so many great artists singers songwriters hey you're from the same area as, as Woody Guthrie but over the years and the generations um, what is it about that part of the world that somehow informs your writing and the way you approach your music oh um, I mean it's it's very interesting and very uh, very isolated, and so you, you run into people that, that you wouldn't run into very often in, in other areas. And, you know, once you have an inside track to an, to an area, like I grew up in that country, so my, my family's from, from down in southeast Oklahoma initially, uh, all the Felkers and everything, and, uh, and it's, just, it's just crazy. It's wild down there, you know? And uh, I, I don't know, I've, I've been friends with some of these guys for, you know, since way before I ever thought about playing music and uh <laughs> but uh anyway uh I, I find it to be a nice backdrop for a story and i love you know i live down there part of the time as well still and um and you know he, he grew up in what about 90 miles north of where i yeah i grew up on, on the arkansas line so he, he knows kind of it's Pretty outlaw stuff down there. I think I, like you said, up there, I, I guess now. Isolation's a big key. You know, you 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 you're in your own world. You make your own opinions about everything. You have your own way of doing everything, and then then that's uh, and you entertain yourself too. Certainly, is is, is a big big part of yeah, it. Yeah, entertain think, your uh, friends. And yeah, of, of of playing music in Oklahoma. Is yeah, entertaining yourself. So, last question. This is your fourth album. You guys have a good thing going. Uh, you sort of have a, you know, kind of a, you have the music part of it down pretty well, and you've got a hardcore following of, of fans, as we can see out there tonight. How do you avoid getting stuck in a rut? Getting a little too comfortable, maybe? Trying to keep it, that creative edge. It's sitting around there. You just, you try to set goals for yourself. Like, what I, you know, what we do is just try to keep ourselves together as far as, uh, you know, what, uh, the plans are going to be as far as uh, you know. When do we do something next? Do we want to make a music video? Do we want to make a record? Do we want to make a solo record? Do we? You know, does somebody want to? You know, our has got a lot of projects, and and I, yeah, you know, bird hunt and mess with stuff and help with folks out and stuff like that. You know, so just try to take care of your people. And, uh, yeah, a lot of us. I mean, maybe sometimes just. Anything but music yeah. is, mm -hmm. is maybe the answer, and sometimes the staying out of a rut deal like, mm -hmm. or different music. Maybe playing sure playing some stuff with your buddies. That's a, a a whole different gig. I think I think that really helps as far as getting stuck in a rut deal. Like you can go you can go back to just like you know jamming with with your friends at home. Like mm -hmm. you were telling a story about yeah. doing that the other day. Yeah, and I was and, down in down and, southeast. And that's, home, I was yeah. like, man, that that's how it is with my buddies in Tahlequah. Like we're not. We're not hanging out playing Turnpike Troubadour songs all night. We're we're playing whatever. I mean, Little Feet or you know whatever mm -hmm. whatever someone someone wants to throw down and and that kind of stuff is is a really good way to stay out of a rut for me. 